glad you asked. <laughs> Before I answer that question, I'd like to introduce you to our team. We are Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. I am Nancy Dodson. I'm the leader of this project. Our corporate analysts are Ivan Hogan, Toyin Tewabola, and Karen Hartman. And our marketing analyst, Rebecca Dodson. Thank you guys for having us here today. Today we offer you an amazing opportunity to invest in the third largest soda maker in America, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. I'm going to turn it over to Karen who's going to tell us more about our history. Good morning, and I'm Karen Hartman, and I just want to take a few minutes to talk to you about the history of Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. As you probably know, Dr. Pepper and Snapple are the flagship soft drinks of the beverage uh, company, Dr. Pepper Snapple. But how did it all begin? First, I think we need to look at the invention of carbonation, which of course is water and carbon dioxide mixed together to create this bubbly, refreshing twist on ordinary water. Well, Jean Jacob Schweppes in 1783 took this process, this invention, and created a way to, to develop it, market it, or uh, manufacture it and bottle it, and he created the Schweppes Company. So move the clock forward, 100 years we end up in Waco, Texas, where a local pharmacist at a drugstore took this carbonation process and blended it with 23 unique flavors that became the Waco soft drink. Well, people in Waco, Texas said, we love it. Where can we get it? I want to taste it. <clears throat> they created a fan base and they, the, the drugstore owner decided we need to name this soft drink. So he named it after his best friend, Dr. Charles Pepper. <laughs> well, we at the company know that Dr. Charles Pepper has this beautiful young daughter that the drugstore owner fell in love with, and we believe that he was trying to impress uh, upon this dad by naming the soft drink after him. So, <clears throat> moving along, Schweppes joined with Cadbury, and they became the third largest beverage producer in 1969. We also we also need to look at another group of entrepreneurs, this time in New York City, where three local health food store owners decided it was time that New York City was introduced, New, York, New Yorkers were introduced to an all-natural beverage. They created an all-natural apple beverage, which we know as Snapple. As you can see, Cadbury Schweppes continues to grow through acquisitions. A lot of brand names that you will recognize, of course, Dr. Pepper, Canada Dry, 7-Up, Sunkiss, Squirt, um, Burner Schweppes, of course. And through these acquisitions, that they became known as Cadbury Schweppes America's Beverages up until 2008 when Dr. Pepper and Snapple spun off to form the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, which is a... Uh, publicly traded company on the New York Stock Exchange. Today our company owns more than 50 pretty well-known brands and we operate three corporate divisions, our uh, Latin America beverages, our concentrated beverages, as well as our packaged beverages. And now I'd like to turn it over to Ivan to talk about some of our strategies. Hi everybody, my name is Ivan Hogan and I will be telling you about SWOT analysis of Dr. Pepper Snapple, which is based on the strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities of Dr. Pepper Snapple. Okay. One of our major strengths is that we have an experienced management team. The reason why having an experienced management team is very important because it allows everybody to be on one accord with another, and when everybody's in sync with one another, then it can better ensure that we will give a higher quality product. Another strength that we have is that we have a strong market position in North America, Canada, and in the Caribbean. All this means is that if you reside in North America, Canada, or in the Caribbean, there is a high possibility you will have access to a Dr. Pepper Snapple product. Great. Another strength we also have is we have a strong portfolio of brands. Another strength is that we have strong customer relationships, strong retail customer relationships. This is important because it allows us to get inside the head of our customers. And this is good because we can alter the product to what the customer needs to ensure that they are getting a product that they want and they deserve. And another strength that we also have is that we have a strong relationship with bottlers and distributors. 
All this means is that if there is something good or bad to happen within the company, there will be no surprises in the company. We will be the first to know that no outside sources will tell us. And it helps us to be ahead of the curve and be more organized. And one of the weaknesses that we have is that we have weaker advertisement campaigns compared to Coca-Cola and Pepsi globally. The reason why having strong advertising campaigns globally is important is because there's a big world out there, right? So therefore, it, there's a lot of customers that we can persuade to become ours, basically. And this leads to having more international market presence. Due to our weaknesses of poor international market presence, we also get opportunities to expand our international market presence. So therefore, one of our weaknesses become one of our greatest assets to the point that we get to have them. It gives an opportunity. And another opportunity we have is that we are able to target healthy food services at major retailers. All this means is that most people that think about soda, they think of stuff that is unhealthy and hazardous to your health. So therefore, due to eye diversity, it allows us to open up to more variety of people. Therefore, it does not, people that, do, people that don't, or aren't interested in sodas don't have to worry about health hazards and things like that, which leads to the promotion of new flavored teas, juices with health benefits, and antioxidant water. And last but not least, our threats, of course, are our largest competitors, Coca-Cola and Pepsi. And another threat is new companies, of course, that's always a threat. And price pressure is one of our biggest threats because, as you already know, Coca-Cola and Pepsi are our rival companies. And they put price pressure on us due to the fact that they enable high quality products and, and they distribute it at a reasonable price. This puts us in the pressure to give high quality products at a reasonable price so we can actually make sales. That concludes my SWOT analysis of Dr. Pepper Snapple. I'm going to take it over to Tori and she's going to tell you more about the team group. Hello everyone, my name is Tori. I'm here to build on what my partners have just said. This is the truth. We are certain that our company is showing signs of growth faster than anticipated industry figures. We have well-built products that seem larger market share, particularly when compared alongside the other groups or other peer groups like Coca-Cola and Pepsi Co. I would like to tell you. I'm proud to tell you that we are number one position in market by volume. Also, we are strong up, we have strong operating margins and stable cash flow. To tell you, to back what I've just said, we have we are number one position in tea brands, we have number one position non-alcoholic mixing. We are number one position government carbonated soft drinks. To top it up, we are number one position in juices such as malt, Hawaii, and punch. Let's talk about decentralized production. It's good to have our manufacturing facilities. We have 80 manufacturing facilities in USA alone. Also, we have three manufacturing facilities in the neighboring <coughs> country, like Mexico. We have 174 distribution centers in the U.S., 23 di distribution centers in Mexico. And lastly, we have hundreds of third-party bottlers and distributors. Now, let's talk about the comparison with peer groups. If you look at this table, this is dividend yield, and this is the return of equity. If you, as you can see, we have 3.1 percent dividend yield. That shows that we are the highest in the group. I will tell you this, and to our investors, I want you to hear. I don't want you to miss anything of my work. I will. Looking at the above table, our company dividend yield of 3.1% is higher than our peers. We believe that this positive outcome will surely attract investors to invest in our company, just like you. Also, for the return of equity, 
a return on equity of 27.6% is above the industry average. This is the industry average, and this is Dr. Pepe. And also, higher than other peers, we would like investors to consider adding Dr. Pepe to their portfolio, as we have two clear drivers for gaining market share, which are earning per share growth and the dividend. To continue with the dividend growth perspective, using the share performance, you can see that we are above in the graph, we are above other companies. That shows that that shows that a company is stable despite the decline of soda volume. We are right above other care. Talking about the product, uh, productivity measures, our company was able to reduce capital spending by 41% between 20, 2008 and 2013. Also, our company has achieved more than 69 million in cash productivity, productivity between 2011 and 2013. Now, I will hand over to Ms. Nancy to elaborate more about our company. We are strong in the beverage industry. Carbonated soft drink sales have been in decline for the past 10 years. Coca-Cola last year showed a drop in volume of 1.1%. Pepsi uh, reported a volume of 1.4% drop. The third largest carbonated soft drink in the U.S., Dr. Pepper Snapple, showed a flat um, volume for the year 2014. This means that while other companies were showing a decrease, we were not significantly affected by the decline in carbonated sales. Since 2004, consumers have turned to healthier choices. Less consumers want value-added water, sugary fruit beverages, high-calorie soft drinks. Instead, they're looking for ready-to-drink teas, sports drinks, energy drinks, bottled water, and my favorite, ready-to-drink coffee. <laughs> um, we like to make sure that we are giving the customers what they want. As Toyin pointed out, we continue to grow in market share because we're giving the customers what they want. We're not chasing after every new trend. We focus in on the categories that consumers want to give us the greatest potential for profitability. We do this in three ways. We extend our current lines, such as our Dr. Pepper uh, 10 and our Dr. Pepper and soft drink diets. Thank you, Becky. We also create new products, such as with our Snapple teas, and we take on brands that show high profitability, such as our acquisitions with Mott's applesauce and juices. As Toyin was pointed out, in 2013, we continue to grow in profit shares above our peers. Let's take a look at 2014 now. 2014, we watched in August as Monster in Blue, Monster Energy Drink, jumped in profit shares. Okay? See this beautiful red line continuously growing? Yeah? That's our Dr. Pepper Snapple group. You'll see in yellow, PepsiCo, and down below, and the green is a Coca-Cola. Despite the new trend, Monster, we still continue to grow above and show continual growth with our profit shares. This is important to you as investors. And I wouldn't be surprised if we end up acquiring Monster Beverage from Hanson Natural Sodas. That's what we do. Our company mission is to be the best beverage industry in the Americas. Our two strongest um, areas of expertise are product differentiation and our product to market ability. Product differentiation, we focus in on key brands by marketing and consumer analysis that we continu continuously have ongoing that allows us to know what the consumers are really wanting. With distribution, 
we have improved our distribution by acquiring bottling companies, this new initiative we call Dr. Pepper Snapple Bottling Companies. This allows us to get our product out there more efficiently, improving our operations. This allows us to cut costs. This allows us to uh, be more responsive, faster responding to our customers, especially doing product promotion. We believe at Dr. Pepper Snapple Group that our continued strategies of improving our product line, our continued analysis to drive products that allow us the greatest potential of profitability, and we continue to sustain our company for many decades to come using these core competencies. Thank you. So that only leaves us with one question. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? <laughs>